Our homecoming committee is really set with a wide array of people and staff members at this university that our goal is to make sure it's a fun party for students, a celebration of IPFW, a connection to our alumni, as well as a time that we can really get staff and faculty involved. I would say in terms of challenges that we face as a homecoming committee, it's doing exactly what I said we hope to do, and that's bringing in alumni, staff, faculty, and students in, in a really cohesive environment that's going to allow all of those parties to get a lot out of it, to feel connected to IPFW, and to really cheer on the teams as they play. One of our big things that we face continually is how to get those people to actually come out. We try with freebies, we try with food, but we don't just want people to come pick up their food and gift and leave. I would say for our commuter students, it becomes a challenge and, and that's why we really have made an attempt this year and last year to structure it so there are events happening at all times. One of the ways that we really try to combat that non-football atmosphere and make it into a really um, cheering on of a basketball team is to have multiple games that week. We have our women's team playing on Monday as well as our men's and women's double header then on Saturday. In between that doubleheader Saturday, we're having a big celebration where students, staff, and alumni can come together, free food, lots of excitement, lots of fun, so it's not just about the sport. This, for this year for homecoming, we really tried to make it something that we could hit a lot of students in a lot of areas. For instance, we're doing a big tailgating party over at the Coliseum. That, that's a huge anchor event for us, as well as a lot on campus. We have also a Crazy Pins night, where students are going to be able to go to Crazy Pins and bowl. We have a time here in the ballroom that we're going to set up this huge skating rink and basically have roller skating on campus. We have a couple of games, athletic events going on that we're giving away freebies. Um, midnight breakfast, where you can do breakfast over in housing at midnight while you're up studying for those last minute finals or to really get involved. And then just different things here and there in terms of lunches and breakfast. Um, the one thing we really want to get students to this year that we've never done before is a pep rally. So that's going to be happening in Gates for a chance for these students to really connect with their men's and women's basketball team.